You're watching the show for the YouTuber's YouTuber. Yes, weirdos, every other YouTuber watches this show. It makes them feel better about their own shows. From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook True Tales of Haunted Places by G. Michael Basie, narrated by Darren Marlar. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. A high-pitched tone developed in Europe to drive teenagers out of public places is now being used by teenagers as a ringtone. <laughs> proving there is no sound so annoying that teenagers won't think it is music. There was a bar in Washington, D.C. that offered a free drink every time President Trump tweeted about former FBI Director James Comey during his testimony last Thursday. I do not know if there were any survivors. Former FBI Director Comey is in line for a $10 million book deal – because of course he is. Aretha Franklin's hometown of Detroit has named a street after her. The section of Madison Street between Brush and Witherell was named Aretha Franklin Way. Now, on one hand, it's an honor to have a street named after you. On the other hand, it's Detroit. Be careful, music lovers! 45-year-old David Edward Brady has been arrested and accused of taking more than a thousand doses of fake drugs to the Bonnaroo Music Festival in Tennessee. He was arrested on a similar charge at the Wakarusa Music Festival in Arkansas in 2015, but the quantity of bogus drugs was much smaller at Wakarusa. According to an arrest warrant, police found about a thousand hits of fake LSD, 37 pills made to look as if they were Molly, a synthetic drug that alters mood and perception, 22 bags of fake mushrooms, 20 bags made to look like cocaine, and an incense stick made to look like black tar heroin. Coffee County Sheriff's investigator James Sherrill arrested Brady on a charge of possession of counterfeit controlled substances. Brady told police he was doing God's work by selling fake drugs. That's odd because I don't remember seeing the Book of Quaaludes last time I did my Bible study. A football player for the Buffalo Bills missed his flight so he hired an Uber driver to drive him 500 miles to get to team practice. Man, I have heard of long drives in football, but wow! In a meeting last week with congressional leaders, President Trump suggested that his often-promised border wall with Mexico could be covered in solar panels, which is a great idea – until day two when the wall and solar panels will be covered in anti-American graffiti. And you know that's going to be the case. Boston is paying ex-gang members to go to college. About 40 students who are also former gang members are members of Boston Uncornered, a three-year pilot program launched in May and run by the education nonprofit College Bound Dorchester. These students in the program earn a $400 weekly stipend by attending class every day, passing their high sets and moving on to college. Once in college, the stipend continues for as long as it takes for the former gang members to graduate with an associate's degree. So if you can't afford college, join a violent street gang and you might get a full-ride scholarship. The happiest place on earth didn't exactly live up to its name for 17 guests over the weekend. Down in Disneyland Friday night, 11 adults and 6 juveniles were hit with fecal matter. Initial reports came in that someone might have thrown it at them, causing a hazmat team to respond. However, it was soon determined that the poor, unfortunate souls had actually been hit with goose poop from geese that were flying over the California theme park at the time. The guests were allowed to clean up in a private bathroom, were given new clothes, and returned to the amusement park – healthy and happy – per a tweet from the Anaheim PD. But then they got crapped on again after seeing the credit card bill from their Disney vacation. Never miss a single episode of the Daily Dose of Weird News. Download the free Marlar House mobile app. In the app, you can find links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Watch other Marlar House YouTube videos. Sign up for the Marlar Sheet newsletter to automatically be registered for giveaways, purchase Daily Dose of Weird News t-shirts or mugs, download audiobooks I've narrated, see my latest blog posts, and more. The Marlar House mobile app is free for iOS and Android users. Download it now by clicking the Mobile App tab at Daily Dose of Weird News. News.com or search for Marlar House in your phone app store. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and doctors will tell you that anxiety is hard on your health. And I hate when they say that because it makes me nervous. I'll see you next time, weirdos.